everybody, it's your funny neighborhood saxman Alex here. If you're new here, check out my Get to Know Me video. If you haven't already, check out all my series I've been coming out with. My performance series, my chat with me series, my sax ed series, and my review series. And hit that subscribe button. A lot of you are watching the videos and I thank you so much for that. But hit the subscribe button, that helps me out. And it helps you keep up to date with anything related to your friendly neighborhood saxman Alex. Today, we are going to go in more depth with the gap cap. You might be saying to me, Alex, you already made a video about this last Tuesday. Why are you making another one now? Although this is very true, I left out some important details that I wanted to update you all on. As you can see, I have all the products that Key Leaves has given me and has generously given to me because I am their new Key Leaves artist. I'm super proud and excited to be working alongside the company. There are some great people there with really innovative ideas that I will be showing you in my upcoming review videos. We all know about the famous Keeley's product that you put on your C-sharp and E-flat. That went viral and I had to see for myself if it really worked. I've been using it ever since. I'm gonna keep these leaves on my saxophone so this thing falls apart. But at least I'll know that my C-sharp, my E-flat, and my G-sharp key will never be sticky if I use them. But what happens if I forget to use them? And I'm a very forgetful person. Super forgetful. Which is why I'm making this video. If you're forgetful like me, you're gonna forget to put these key leaves on every once in a while. And even though you can put them in your case, sometimes you wanna take them off when you're practicing and you forget to put them back on. There's a product that key leaves offers, which is the gap cap, that you can do as part of your routine when you're putting back the horn in its case, and you'll never have to worry about it. It serves a similar purpose to the key leaves. Rulon was generous enough to give me this product and by no means did he pay me to say anything nice about the product This is just me telling you what I feel about it and how it's been working for the past couple of days. I present to you all The gap cap. Keyless has already come out with this product, but what's new about this one in particular? If you look at the casing, nothing seems different. But what is different is the cool new feature that they've added to the product. The gap cap and its purpose is essentially a replacement of your normal stock cap that you get with the saxophone when you buy it. The cap acts as a seal. You put it on the next socket of your saxophone. And I guess that serves as a kind of barrier between something. I don't really know what the purpose is, but I never thought that I needed such a accessory for the sax. I will say this time and time again, I am not a gear guy by any means. I just like to play the sax, make sure that it works, clean it whenever it needs to be cleaned, repair it whenever it needs to be repaired, and put it back in its case when I'm done. I'm not a person who likes to put a 10 pound screw on the side. I'm not a person who likes to have gold plated resonators on my pads. Although that is very cool, I'm happy with what I have now. But the one company that has changed my mind completely has been Keeley's. I've had this Keeley's product for over a month and a half now. And in every time that I have used it, it has worked for me. And I have to say that honestly, it surprised me. I thought this was just gonna be some scam. This is just gonna be, you know, a normal product that sometimes works, sometimes didn't. But it did, consistently. And I'm a forgetful person. And whenever I didn't put the Keeley's back on, it would get sticky. All the pads would get sticky again. Obviously, it was directly correlated to the product. So I was very impressed. Becoming a Keeley's artist was to support the company more because you need to make more products like these. You're solving problems that have existed for almost a hundred years now, or even more, who knows? So thank you, Keely. Although the gap cap is already out, this is a limited edition new gap cap that comes in silver plate and gold plate. You can get the regular green gap cap, but these are really cool and special, and I'll show you what they look like in a second. So sit back, enjoy, and I will do the unboxing for you. All right, my friends, we're gonna do an unboxing of the new limited edition gap cap. So, I have my old cap. This cap had one purpose and one purpose only. I put it in the next socket of the saxophone and it stayed there snug in its case. Did it do anything else? No. Do I occasionally play with it as a top and spin it around? Yes. Is it colorful? No, so time for an upgrade. 
Now, the Yap Cap, on the other hand, is very alluring. It has a metallic screw on top. It has the spring where you can insert it into the neck socket of the saxophone. And it has a vent that allows air to travel through the horn, which helps to reduce the moisture inside the body of the saxophone. Did this do any of that? No. Again, is this colorful? No. All right, here we go. I'm gonna lift the sticker up. Don't make fun of me. I make faces when I try to do things. Okay, here we go. One, two, two and a half. Nothing in here. We do have some goodies inside here. So, there we go. <laughs> Nothing else inside the bottle, the cylindrical case <laughs> for the gap cap. We have this lovely pouch, which has the gap cap inside. But I would like for you to notice the uh, beautiful Key Leads logo. I love the leaf. It's one of my favorite parts about the company's logo is the beautiful leaf. And it has all the saxophones, a tenor, an alto, and a berry, and a soprano, I think, in there, yes. All right, here we go. And we'll open the said pouch to see what the goodies are inside. Okay, pouch over here. Okay, looks like the gap cap is uh, encased with, uh, I think, a description of the product, which is really cool. You can see here the gap cap logo. And if I unwrap it, It shows the product. It has the instructions and the description of the gap cap here. You can see a little bit. On the back side, it shows Rulon, which is one of the creators of the Keeley's product. As you can see on the back, it shows all the products that Keeley's offers. The Keeley's E flat C sharp leaves, the gap cap, the vent vines, the spit sponges, and for the Soprano, the key props. All very nice products. I'll leave the description down below of their website so you can check it out. For the piece de resistance, the beautiful gap cap in gold. So as you can see, the gap cap is a beautiful product that is now offered in a limited edition gold plate and silver plate as opposed to their original green screw gap cap. The Yap Cap consists of the top screw, which is now in gold plate, the lock nut, which is very important so that you can remember the position where you put it in your case when you expand and contract the screw, and the spring, which is an expandable plastic joint that you insert into the neck socket of the saxophone. This product works on every brand of every saxophone. This is specifically for the alto, for my alto that I have and it works on every brand, whether it be Selmer, Yamaha, Ishimori, P. Maria, you name it, it works. So you can see a side picture here where the gap cap is shown where you can see the lock nut, the screw, and the plastic spring. It is really nice, the texture for the screw is nice so that you won't slip up when you're expanding or contracting the screw, moving it up or down. And the lock nut is really nice. You can move it up and down according to how it fits when you put it on your saxophone in the case. Now, if you see the bird's eye view of the cap gap, you can see that there's an open vent in the middle, which allows the air to flow through freely through the saxophone. This is what helps to reduce the moisture in the saxophone. If you bend the screw, what absorbs the shock of any bump or mishap that happens on your saxophone is the spring. The spring absorbs a shock, whether it be on a side bump or I hope not. I hope that this doesn't happen to you. It hasn't happened to me, but hopefully, knock on wood, won't happen to me that your sax case drops to the floor. Most of the absorption of that shock will be taken on the spring that's attached to your neck socket of your saxophone. Now I'm going to demonstrate with my alto sax how to put on the gap cap. It's very customizable and very easy to put in 
and adjust to any size case that you have at home. You're going to take the gap cap, squeeze the spring, the plastic spring, and insert it into the saxophone. Easy, right? Super easy. That's all you have to do. If you want to expand it so that the saxophone will fit properly and snug in the case, you can move the screw up and down just by twisting it. And once you get the desired position, you use your lock nut and you firmly put it in place. You have to firmly grasp the spring so that it can fit in the neck socket of your saxophone. Firmly grasp it! So you can see it looks beautiful in contrast to this nice 1964 lacquer Mark VI Alto. And it fits perfectly. What I wanted to remind you all of is that if you, by any chance, unscrew the top screw of the gap cap too much, there is gonna be kind of a warning where you are at the last couple notches of the screw before it completely unscrews itself. And in this product, I believe it's black. So the last couple notches of the screw are black. So that's kind of a warning sign for you to stop screwing more or else you're gonna have one screw in one hand and the other part of the spring in your other hand. So I'm gonna show you how it looks in my sax case. So my sax case is a BAM cabine case. So as you can see, I have the screw very short. There's a bunch of space between the top of the screw and the end of the case. So all I'm gonna do is screw it up and you can see now in the new picture that it is nice and snug and ready for travel. This solved so many problems that I didn't even know I needed to solve. The fact that people bump me around in New York City all the time is kind of alarming. It's not that they're rude, they just have to get from point A to point B and if you're in the way, well, you're gonna get bumped. And having this gap cap in my case at all times when I'm traveling kind of puts me a little bit more at ease. So thank you for that, Keelys. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. This is an innovative, really cool new product that I'm going to use for the rest of my saxophone career. Like the Gap Cap, there are so many more products on the Key Leaves website that you can use for your saxophone, such as the Key Leaves, the Gap Cap, the Swabs, and the Vent Vines. So if you want to stay up to date on everything, go on their website and sign up for their newsletter to stay up to date on everything Key Leaves. I'll put the website down in the description below alongside their Facebook and Instagram so you can see whatever they're coming out with. The limited edition Gap Cap is coming out soon. So if you wanna know exactly when to buy it, sign up for the newsletter. Thank you for watching the video, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more standards, beats, and ballads. Stay sexy, and don't forget to subscribe. Gap, cap, gap, cap, gap, cap. <laughs> now the cap, gap. <laughs> Which I think is amazing.